safety tips about your home, face painting for kids, and popcorn? What brings all these topics together? Well, that would be the annual energy fair that Cedar Falls Utility holds at their building in Utility Parkway in Cedar Falls. Betty Zemin, who is a public information officer at CFU, tells us about what the energy fair has to offer. The purpose of this event really is to uh, give consumers one place where they can learn and see a lot about how to make their home or business more energy efficient. So we have vendors who bring energy efficient building materials, heating and cooling equipment, um, renewable energy equipment, and many other kinds of products. And we also have Cedar Falls Utility's own energy services specialists. Those are the people who do energy audits and who help our customers qualify for our many energy efficiency cost sharing programs that we offer in Cedar Falls. Not only is the energy fair about learning safety tips and more cost and energy efficient ways, but the fair also tries to make it enjoyable for the whole family. We really try to make this a family event and this year we have a new um, item for families to try and that is the conservation station from Iowa State University. So you'll see that trailer here on the grounds today and it's staffed with experts from Iowa State and they do a lot of hands-on environmental education um, at, that, at the trailer that's here today. Betty tells us why the number 2013 is such a successful year in celebration for the CFU Energy Fair. 2013 is actually a big anniversary year for CFU. This year marks the 125th year that we've been providing water service and the 100th year, the uh, centennial year, for our electric utility. So today, in the tent where you see all the dining tables and people are having bratwurst from the grill, we also have a historical display where people can see some of the highlights through our 125 year history. CFU celebrated the year with delicious cake and family fun for all with booths that were set up throughout the area that offered information about the ways to reduce energy and services that CFU offers. Meanwhile, across the street, at the Old Public Works, residents were dropping off items at the annual Cedar Falls Electronic and Household Hazardous Waste Drop-Off. The Waste Drop-Off is sponsored by the City of Cedar Falls and the Black Hawk County Solid Waste Commission. Today, the Solid Waste Commission of Black Hawk County is sponsoring a toxic cleanup day for both like household hazardous materials that might be from people's like, kitchens or garages and also for electronics and electrical items that they would like to recycle. It is so convenient that the energy fair and the waste drop-off are scheduled on the same day and basically the same location. Tammy explains why they did that. Well, they probably figured like a lot of the people in Cedar Falls were already coming to the energy fair and that they thought like maybe it would be kind of like a one-stop shop. They could kind of come here, get rid of like their light bulbs, get rid of their computers, and then they could go to the energy fair and learn about conservation over there. Items accepted at the drop-off include household chemicals that come on a residential basis. They did not accept materials from commercial business. Materials accepted included most items found underneath a kitchen sink, like cleaners, chemicals, or garden variety chemicals. Tammy explains why it's healthy to stay cognitive even when you're purchasing some of these hazardous materials. Right, so there's a lot of things that we buy in our everyday lives and we don't realize that they're toxic and maybe until we buy them. So for us as educators, we try to say like, think about things before you even bring them into your home. But when you do bring them in, use them as directed. And then if they're still left over, it's good to kind of keep those items for the, the two days that we have a year. And it keeps it out of the water supply. So we don't want people kind of just flushing them down the toilet or the sink. We don't really want them putting them in the garbage because we don't want it to go to the landfill. So it provides a safe, you know, way for people to manage those materials. And then for the electronics, um, for the old electronics, like the old monitors and the old TVs, there's between six and eight pounds of lead in every single one of the cathode ray tubes that's in those old, or old electronics. So that's keeping lead out of the landfill as well. The drop-off ran much like a drive through where residents came to drop off their hazardous materials. Seemed like a busy day for this part of Cedar Falls. We haven't quite plateaued yet, so last year we had 984 cars that came to this event in Cedar Falls in August. Um, we don't have a number yet for this year's event, um, but our amount of electronics has kept going up, and so we, I, we don't think that we have all the TVs and, and computer monitors that are out there. 
This is a great way to get rid of all your old electronics and keep your household safe from hazardous materials. Lastly, on the same day, the Cedar Falls Police Department also held the prescription drugs drop-off, where residents can safely get rid of any prescription drugs. What we're asking is people who have unused, unwanted, unneeded prescription drugs um, to bring them here. We'll, we'll uh, dis dispose of them properly through the Drug Enforcement Administration. We'd much rather do it this way. It's safer and it's better for the environment. We really don't want to see people uh, uh, fl flush them or put them in the sewer system at all. And what is the purpose of this prescription drug drop-off? There's been uh, high rates of prescription drug abuse and it's, it's gone up uh, quite a bit in the last five to eight years. A lot of times uh, prescription drugs that, are, that sit around the house, um, they can be stolen or found or end up in the wrong hands. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen and this is our opportunity not only to do a service to the public but also uh, it's a crime prevention method for us as well. I bet you are also wondering where do all these prescription drugs go after we drop them off? We, uh, we secure them in evidence and then we ship them uh, through the, to the Drug Enforcement Administration where they dispose of them properly. Sounds like a great way to safely dispose of any leftover prescription drugs in the household. But don't worry, this event happens more than once a year. Uh, we do this twice a year. There's a national initiative that we take part of in April, and then we always do it for the CFU Energy Fair as well. Altogether, it was a productive and informative weekend for the residents of Cedar Falls, learning new ways to lower their energy while disposing of hazard chemicals and prescription drugs in a safe way for our environment. Reporting for Cedar Falls City News, I'm Bridget Reedy.